After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's all right. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked. I plan ahead, Sus. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. I'm not sure why the Liz thing made him want to kill me, but you, sir, are a sick asshole. Her, it looks like. And we're back in limbo. Hey, Edgar. God, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's a little shit. Who... who are you? I am the Crow, of course. EDGAR! I will get you out of here. Unless you don't want to stay. No, I'd like to leave. There are two doors leading out of this place. One of them will simply take Susan back to where she belongs. But behind the other one, there is a great reward for her. It's something she always wanted. Something she longs for every single day. Where are those doors? I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I knew it was Susan Cannon, please. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's the doors. Oh! Those things look That's creepy. Like my girls. No. I, I don't like them. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. Yes, but please. Guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get her rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Waste it. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one... Always lies. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. Well, does it really matter? What I'm questioning is also the leads to find the right door. Yeah.
Oh, now I can start. Okay. This is a very common puzzle. And it's one of those puzzles that everyone remembers, but they don't remember how to play it. Um, anyway, you can go over here, examine, and I wish it stopped staring at me. Uh, you can poke it. I think you can insult one. Uh, yeah, you can insult this one. I wish it stopped staring. Okay, the way to beat this, let me make sure that I have... Okay, these are your questions. So, which door should I enter? Which door will lead me to my reward? Which door will take me back to my world? Is the door to the left the one I should open? Is the door to the right the one I should enter? Which door would the other doll point me to? Is the other doll a liar? If I enter the left door, will I get my reward? Which door would you enter to get the reward? And which door should I not enter? You want... Which door would the other doll lead me to? Um, it's a brain teaser, and I mean, I know it's that one and all of that, but it still just makes my brain sizzle when I think about it. The truth doll is going to tell you that the liar is going to point you to the wrong door, and the bad doll is going to tell you that the truth doll will point you to the wrong door because she's lying. So it's going to highlight the wrong door. And then you go into the one that's not showing, basically. Which one? The one they don't point to. Which door would the other doll point me to? So we're going to go into this one. Not that one. This one. Peace out! Is, is this supposed to be my reward? Flowers. I hate flowers. You lied to me. You lied. That is the correct one. Um, the other one would have just sent you right back to where we will be after this. Flowers. Thanks to for being a dick, Edgar. I thought there was an option, but oh well. Okay, the other door would have just led you straight here. Uh, basically now we just need to blow out another candle. Whew. Yes, I just blew. It doesn't matter which candle, um, it's gonna show you the same deaths in the same order no matter what. This one's just hard for me. Like, super hard for me. To watch. <laughs> Hear all of that. But this is basically what happened to my great-grandmother. So it's really difficult for me to watch. There's a lot of parts in here that are really just heart-wrenching for me. <laughs> okay. And now... Gonna... Come on, let me walk. There we go. Weird. Okay. It's a hospital body bag. Open. I threw it on the ground! Okay. Come on. Oh, uh, open. Come on, Susan. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's me! Or Susan. Oh, she's gonna scream. FYI. There's a lot of screaming in this area. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I there opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Uh, it's a suicide note I wrote. Why would he put it up on the wall? Because he's a sick bastard. We'll just take this. Thank you. There's some nudity, by the way. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. It wasn't even locked? Well, of course, I'm not a prisoner here. He thought I was dead. You should never take things for granted, Doc, because this might just be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think what would be better. Chair, pick up. Pick it up, Susan. Sure, break things, Susan. Oh. I. Sorry. Um, I think it's just something about the. Oh, God. Oh god. I've seen something like this before. The living paintings. Except that here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair. Ugh. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Sure. Yeah. No, I don't want to examine that anymore. What's in here? A skeleton. A fake skeleton. This was probably used for teaching before it ended up here. Okay. A bolt. Take the bolt. Uh, the doc probably considers himself quite an artist. Uh, use. I need a weapon. I can build one here. Okay, um... We don't have everything we need. Uh... We're gonna go back over this way. We need... We need the bolt off of here. Uh, metal nut is stuck on her finger like a ring. I could pull it off of the finger if it wasn't so s swollen and stiff. So we're going to have to rip it off, basically. Her lump body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. Seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. Man's a sick motherfucker. Open. Quietly. Yeah, yeah, let's open it very quietly. What is this? Take the wrench! Okay, this is just... I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Louder, I said. Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. He 
He's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. Well, it looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your yeah. body. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your you are... body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. What's wrong with you? You're just gonna continue dancing like that? Sick asshole. Okay. Alright. Now, we basically just need to get everything... ...out of here. Um... Come on, walk faster, Susan. You mother f ah. take oh, wrong one. We need to lather this use in the sink. covered in leather now. It might be useful for something, I guess. Okay. Um, the reason I was upset was because the lights keep flickering and you can't grab that saw blade until the lights stop flickering. Oh, that's just... I could probably find some use for this. Ugh. Crazy. Uh, it seems this place has been closed down- uh, was closed down a long time ago. One day they eventually- when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will be buried deep under the piles of rubble. And then we can see Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet here she is, stuck on a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy, or is she really there, just already dead? Her pockets are empty. Oh, but at least you will find some piece in- yeah, I do. Liz was an awesome character. Locked. Um. Dang it. No, 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 no. Now we need to... Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Fine. Use it. And it slips off. Okay. Now I believe we should be able to make our weapons. And I like how her blood keeps coming off and on. Use. Examine. 
Ah, uh, fine. Okay. Whatever. Um, you can make multiple weapons. Or, get out of that. Uh, there's the mace. Um, I want to use this. Yes, it is. All right. Now we have two weapons. Um, we're going to use this. Basically, she just sneaks up and stabs him in the face. Well, the back, but... And you get to choose what you get to say! Yay! Okay, you'll feel a sharp scratch. What's up, Doc? Do you believe in karma, Doc? See you in hell. Say nothing. I am going to say what's... No. Hmm... I believe in Do karma. Do you believe in karma, Doc? Through the throat. Oh, I don't want to examine his body. I believe I unlocked that door because I was curious. Thank you. Thank you so much. He would have he would have killed me like the others. The animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. Yes, I did. Are you? It doesn't matter. Forget you ever saw me. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. And end. Um. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh well. Well, there's two chapters down. River. Standing by the river, I wonder, do I need a stone? No, my heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. Finally, I'm back home. I will be safe here. First of all, I should wash off all the horrible memories of this night. I'm dying for a shower. Something to eat. Some coffee. Cigarette. I'd love to save my cat. See my cats, too. Save my cats. Psh. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything's back to normal. I survived, after all. 
maybe now I can try to enjoy little things in life. That is a good thing to do. Okay, yeah, I can do this one step at a time.